Sometimes people get really confused about reading a green. What does that mean? Well, it's understanding where the high parts and the low parts are of a green, knowing that a ball is going to travel from high toward low. So, how do I manage that? Well, there's a couple of easy tips. One is, don't get lazy. Keep working. Before you walk out of the green, keep an overall perspective of the land. If you look in the, the background around me, this side is much higher overall and everything slopes this way. So that's my first clue. Then I'll look midway on the green and take a look and I can see back there that my white head cover is higher than that red ball. So I know that that is consistent with what I noticed about the overall area. Last place I'll look is right around the hole. Why? Because the ball needs to be traveling slowly when it's at the hole. If the ball is traveling slowly, it's going to tend to break or turn more toward the low side. So three ways to take a look at the green. If you have some visual impairment, guess what? You can read with your feet because I can feel standing here, I'm tilted. My weight's more on my low side. I can feel that with my feet. So I can read the greens with my eyes, I can feel it with my feet. Those are two additional ways to think about reading the greens.